I would say that's the main topic of this uh, film is to um, deal with the legacy or how well to try to get people's opinions and uh, critical opinions and also some possible solutions about how to deal with this reality which was kind of 10 years of massive construction but in reality a form of deconstruction of, of the former identity of the city and, and the country and um, it voices the opinion of several important uh, characters I would say very knowledgeable in various ways there's the Dean of the Architecture University <laughs> We're Josephine and Sine from Copenhagen Architecture Festival. So um, the project, the film is kind of based on essentially three case studies. Uh, this was uh, Josephine and Sine's conception to, to limit, uh, through, by having three main case studies to show this issue of the changing public space or the kind of changing nature of public space or even loss of freedom in public space, one could say. Uh, you will also see this in the film. So it's basically through these case studies and six interviews and some other little conversations also with passers-by on the street, um, Sina and Josephine have tried to uh, develop a critical kind of conversation about this Skopje 2014 uh, project, but also uh, introducing the city to people who may not know it, and thereby also speaking a little bit of its different layers and, and uh, historical moments. The film has been shown already at the Copenhagen Architecture Festival last year, and once uh, in Berlin, uh, Project Fire and also in Skopje, the Museum of Contemporary Art, also as part of a kind of Goethe Institute screening, the first one. And there's been quite a lot of interest for it, and uh, it's very nice for you to have invited the uh, Copenhagen Architecture Festival to screen it here. Um, today and they're they're working actually on producing a series of other films to do with other cities from the former Yugoslavia. So I think we should show the film. 